Users can get connected with your app in many different ways, from recommendations from family, friends, or colleagues, searching an app store, or using a search engine. Research done by Google and ESO found that about 52% of app users surveyed found new apps through family, friends, and colleagues, 40% through just browsing an app store, and 25% through search engines. So you can think beyond just the app store to get your app out there. You're going to want to get family, friends, and colleagues talking about your app and sharing it. So there are a ton of different distribution channels to give your users access to your app. But what's right for your business? Now here are some ideas to kind of get you started. Well, you can consider having your app preloaded into a phone. No, I'm sorry, Apple and Samsung probably aren't going to come beating down your door just to load your app on their phone. But you can pay for it. Pay a lot, that is. It's pretty expensive. Your app will be preloaded onto a specific mobile device, and people will just be exposed to it. And they're more likely to actually use it. So the conversion rate for these preloaded apps is significantly higher than average. You can optimize your own website. Make sure to have a widget that can be pasted onto a mobile website or Facebook pages, for example, that will take your users directly to your app. Or you could create a mobile web version of your app. Now, creating a mobile web version coded in HTML5 is a great way to enable wide distribution outside of just the smartphone audience. Also, people can engage with your product before they commit to downloading it, which is a much higher commitment on their end. And don't forget about the marketing workhorse, email. You can also consider just emailing links to your app to your users. We'll go over many more options later in the course, but I want you to get started thinking about these things. Start getting creative, because when it comes to marketing ideas, sky's the limit.